Welcome back to the second episode of Francis Thursday. I am your host Aaron Wynn and it's a pleasure to have you all here. Now, you know, I really don't like the sound of my own name. It just doesn't sound right. Like when I was younger, like when I was in nursery, I couldn't say my name. I just pronounced it wrong. And I think since then I'm not a fan of it. Like I don't like saying Aaron. In America, I'm not called Aaron. No, I'm called Aaron. We're going to cut to the Isle of Man correspondent, Alex Jackson, who's currently in America to hear how Americans pronounce the name Aaron. I just have to say, Aaron Wynn. Aaron. 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 That's a completely different name. Aaron and Aaron, two different names. But I didn't mind it, personally. And what's funny is when Americans try and say Aaron, it just doesn't, it just does, no. Abby. Can you, yes. can you do me a favour? Depends on what the favour is. Say my name. Do you want me to say it like the American way or my American way of trying to say it your way? Your American way of trying to say it my way. Aaron. I've forgotten what my point was. But yes, new job is going well. Um, I'm enjoying it. I've got more time to do my own stuff, to plan and make videos, hence two videos a week now. For the next six weeks. Anyway, what? <clears throat> anyways, what? Anyways, anyways, let's. Anyways, what's? Anyway, anyways. Right, let's get on with today's Francis Thursday. So today we're talking about the YouTube video videos I never made. Now the first one is based off the car manufacturer Saab who went bust in I believe 2013 and I was actually driving a Saab at the time for a little while and I absolutely loved it. Like, So in this video I was making, it was meant to be when they were creating Saab, the four founders I was calling them, they were going to defeat the Spice Boy, they were predicting the Spice Boy and they wanted to make a sleeper car that looks like a standard boring dull car and it beats the Spice Boy. So the video was basically for me as you can see and it was hell to film. This took about six hours of filming to make because I had to change my shirt, I had to like write our entire script of who's looking where and what's going on. It was a lot of work guys and I never actually finished this video. I didn't do the voiceover, I didn't do the ending, I didn't do the start. Now the second video that I never completed, I actually started in Australia um, based off my experience in the chippy with customers. The project started out called the Racial POS, I then changed the name to the Race Buster, a bit more appropriate. But yes, it was basically screen, I made screenshots to show you like a POS system. So if a customer came in, you have, I was basically creating a POS system and I was going to put like a sales video together talking you through it. So it's loading up, the, the racial POS system is loading up. Then you get the welcome screen, the welcome screen, you can select classic mode, which is like your normal POS system, or you can go suggestive POS. We're gonna select suggestive POS, that's, that's what we want. Then here you can select by the country, so it will suggest stuff based off where your customer is from, or you can go to regular customer down the bottom, or we can use the intelligent scanner second down. We're gonna go for that. In here, it uses sound, sense, and looks of the customer to identify where they are from. Well, let's start. It begins to scan the customer for you. Once it's scanned the customer, it'll identify where they're from. I'm not going to include that because you could class that as racism. It's not racist. Certain people from Anyway, once it's scanned your customer, it'll suggest a menu down the left-hand side and on down the right-hand side suggest the best lingo for said customer. This includes, hello, you will not be shat on by a pigeon in here. Um, all customers are now in the user menu, if you go to the bottom option, it is code 10. Code 10 is basically used for emergencies. It's like if you've got a shop left or if you feel threatened, you use code 10. So when you click on code 10, it reads, code 10 should be used if a customer may appear to be a threat or a threat to another member of staff. Uh, once you click on code 10, it gives you a series of options. Down the left hand side, you can call emergency services, you can send that alarm, you can set off all CCTV and you can send your cust c 
current location to the nearest superhero. Alternatively, if you haven't got enough time to do so and you need to make urgent action, you can collect one of the three options down the right hand side of the screen. The first option is deter or lightly injure the customer. If you click on that, you get the options of water cannon, mild electric stun, at mild attack by chicken, or hair removed by overhead lawnmower. If you were to select main slash severely damage, your options are set on fire for 10 seconds precisely, remove the left foot via angle grinder, sand the face for 17 seconds, or impale left overhead, overhead one more. If you select <laughs> terminate, you can quickly terminate now. If you're in major freight from the customer, you can just hit that button and boom, it asks you for Touch ID to verify that you want to terminate the customer once you select that. Termination is in progress. Then, boom, termination is complete. The customer is dead. The fret is no more. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's Francis Thursday. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you on Sunday for Sunday's video. If not, I'll see you next Thursday for the next episode of Francis Thursday. I'll see you later. Goodbye.